Hey Scorpios and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your October 2018 love read. This is a general message so it will not apply to everyone. So make sure you check out your other signs. Let's get started. Beautiful ones of love and light. Please send me any messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love for October 2018. Please send me Oh. All right, your guys' first card out is the Four of Pentacles, holding back, um, restricting your feelings, um, not necessarily hiding it, something, but um, not allowing yourself to... Um, give too much yeah you guys are um with the nine of wands you guys are feeling like like you're the only one fighting for this you feel um like you would do anything for this person and you feel like this person is not reciprocating in the same way this has caused you a lot of heartache a lot of pain um yeah, you feel very defeated by the situation, by this person. Um, you could be in like a soulmate um, connection to where you feel like you, you feel like this person is who you're meant to be with, but you're, you're tired of being the only one fighting. Your next card out is the six of cups and there's your soulmate card. So <clears throat> you could have uh, children with this person or this person has children or, or you've, uh, whoa, that was, okay, let me start over. This person um, may be somebody that you have children with, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. This is somebody that you have very fond memories of in the past. And that's why you're fighting so hard because you feel like it could be that way again, even though right now you're feeling um, very defeated by the whole relationship. Yeah, this, this relationship is uh, karmically out of balance. Um, you could be uh, fighting to not um, end this relationship. It's like somebody's trying not to um, allow a divorce or a separation. Um, even though the seed has already been planted, um, you're fighting very hard to keep this relationship afloat. Even though you are restricting your feelings, you're holding back. Um, cause you don't want to, you don't want this to end, but you don't want to invest too much and get, and get hurt. You've kind of put up a wall. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> the person you are connecting with, they are the two of pentacles. So they are trying to get their life into balance. Um, there's a lot of tumultuous waters I'm seeing a lot of hard times, um, but you are, but you have given too much in the past because they have the two of pentacles. You have are right under the four of pentacles. So you were giving twice as much as this person was. They could have been splitting their energy. Um, they are, however, wanting to move away uh, from this situation, from this relationship, um, taking their cup and moving on. And you're fighting to keep this relationship alive, um, to, fighting to keep it together. Um, yeah. Yeah, they're going to um, they're going to divulge the truth here very soon, if not already. But in the month of October, the truth is coming out. I keep hearing the truth will set you free, um, and and it will do that. Yeah, the Princess of Pentacles. So um, they're not wanting to um, to move forward to create this. Uh, they are waiting to hear from somebody. Let's see what our next. Whoa. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. So they're out of balance. They need to work on some self healing um, to kind of get their life back into balance. This whole relationship has kind of flipped you all upside down, Scorpio. Scorpios. 
grounding energy and their person and it can be um you know reverse flip-flop whatever whatever row you resonate with that's you the partner is the other side or the other row okay so you're being forced um to make a decision here or they are one of the two your crowning energy is the princess of cups you still love this person you um you still are wanting to offer your cup to this person, but um, they're giving you a situation that is breaking your heart. You're going to um, be called to heal from this with temperance in reverse, um, to have self-healing, because um, this is really uh, kind of taking the, the wind out of your sails. You're very hurt by this, um, by this situation. It's also calling for you to have patience. Love is coming in for you, Scorpios, but you have to be patient for it and release what is not serving you. Their crowning energy is the seven of swords in reverse. So there was some deceitful things that happened in the past, um, whether to them or from them, but they have gotten their bearings. They have um, found their... Uh, yeah, they have bounced back from the Seven of Swords energy and, and it is vibrating at a very high level. <clears throat> and they're moving in a more passionate direction towards something that um, will allow them to. Yeah, something that will allow them to bring passion and. And be a master of their their craft, whatever that is, as I, I keep hearing that master of their craft. Um, yeah. Any other messages for Scorpios? Excuse me, sorry about that. Okay, whoa. Judgment. So, <clears throat> having to answer for things of the past, um, Let me just get the messages here. Yeah, so this relationship will come back um, around. You will have the chance to have a new beginning with this person. After you have healed from this broken heart, you need to find some self-healing. Um, yeah, and they need to find some balance as well. They are um, out of balance um, with within their own lives. Oh, wow. Okay. So your outcome cards. You have judgment. So this relationship is going to come back together. It is going to come back around. You are dealing with um, this very well possibly for some of you is the twin flame journey. You are now, you have been heartbroken. They have ran, they have taken away, they've run away. Um, and this is a runner chaser um, scenario. The top one being the chaser, the bottom one being the runner. Um, now, in order for you to come back together, you have to heal from this broken heart. You have to, um, to find your balance, have to... Uh, Find your spiritual center is what I'm hearing. Um, and when you do, they will come back around. They will give you the truth um, of the matter and and offer you a passionate new beginning because there was some deceit in the, in the past and that's um, what you have to heal from. So once you heal for this group of you, you will get a second chance at this relationship. Um, this will come in towards the end of October. Um as soon as you complete this phase of um, of making yourself whole again, because it, the twin flame soulmates they can't come together broken. Um, they have to come together whole and healed and ready to complete their soul's purpose. Um, but when you do, there will be cause for celebration because this will ascend into a committed relationship under um, under the hierophant. So. Wow. 
most definitely this is a soulmate twin flame. You know, I've, I've been saying for like a month now, October is going to be huge for the twin flame soulmates. Oh, wow. Look at the bottom of the deck, the Empress. And he, they had the Emperor. So um, I've been saying this for like a month and a half now that October is going to be huge, huge, huge month for those soulmate twin flames that came to earth um, to do their soul's purpose. Huge reunions, um, huge unions. This is a group that's in separation. Um, it's calling for you to heal, to heal that broken heart so that you can come back in together um, in union and reunion, Scorpios. <laughs> and once you do, you will have a brand new life, a brand new start, a brand new beginning, a gift from the universe. And look at your bottom of the deck. Wow. You just have to continue healing, Scorpios. You just have to put in the work to fix what is broken, to fix what this person took from you, to, to fix all the, the deep-seated wounds and scars that you've been burying for years, if not lifetimes. And once you do, um, this is going to come into an amazing connection. If you are single and not in the Twin Flame Soulmate journey, um, you also have somebody coming in. Wow, those, two, those are the two cards that fell out. Um, I am going to put them back in because I haven't called for them yet. But reconciliation and heart-to-heart -heart conversations was the cards. But if you are single and looking for love, you also have somebody coming in, a soulmate that's coming in for you. Um, this is somebody you've never met before, but you have to heal from um, the relationship that you have just gotten out of not too long ago. So just Scorpio as a whole, you guys just need to um, continue to heal, continue to keep walking that path. And, um, and reconciliation and new relationships are coming in for everybody. <clears throat> October is going to be a life-changing month for a lot of people, for the collective as a whole. All right. What advice do you have for Scorpios for the month of October 2018? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Um, release your ex. So for those of you single, release your ex and, um, be open to whoever comes into your, uh, energy because it may not be who you, um, expect it to be your next card out with separation. So, um, for this group of you, you guys are in separation from a twin flame soulmate, um, time apart from your partner. Um, this is about to come to a close, but for right now it needs to happen because you still have work to do. So, um, it's time for you to retreat, take some time away for yourself, disconnect from the world and just concentrate on you. Um, try to not worry about that person you're in separation from because it's time to fix you first and passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Um, this will return to your life once you um, once you take that step and start healing. Passion will return to your life. You will be able to enjoy. Um, because right now, for this group of you, I feel a lot of heavy hearts, a lot of sadness um, for the way this person left. Um, whether they just left not giving you any advance warning. They just took off and ghosted you. Um once you begin to heal, they will come back into your life and that passion will be there like it never left. All right. What advice do our helpers of the hidden realm have for our Scorpios? All right. Let's see what we got here. The spiritual dancer and the wise wing one. The bottom of your deck is the cosmos. So the first one out was the wise winged ones. It's, I swear you can't say that 10 times fast. Okay. So the, uh, when you get this card, it's always as an ally and never as a challenge. The wise wing, the winged wise ones represent the aid of all the angels. You, when you enter their realm, know that your sincere prayers will be answered according to the will of the divine. This also represents divine intervention and the potential of miracles to heal and transform as if by magic to heal 
Have faith, whatever your circumstance. Heavenly beings are watching over you. The winged wise ones give you a glimpse of the future by offering messages whispered on the wind. These are translated within you as inspired thought, instantly unraveling the past and revealing the present. Be aware of your higher consciousness in you. This is a good time to observe your thoughts through meditation. Who is observing those thoughts? That self is kin to the winged wise ones who have come to help you soar. And your second card out was Spiritual Dancer, Circulus Root, and Perception. Um, when um, this card comes in, okay. It says, the spiritual dancer moves with her own rhythm and steps to music only she can hear. She takes you on a path that is winding and circular. She assures you that you what you are experiencing as a setback is really part of an upward spiral. Perception is everything. You're not retracing your steps or going backwards, but rather around and up. She says that you can be comforted knowing that your path is one of success, adventure, and experience. Follow her, for she dances a magical way. If you're asking... What, what or why, just, just keep on dancing and the magic will happen soon. It's okay to allow someone else to take the lead at this time. Make sure to let others know that you're open. Always remember that relationships are mirrors and will show you the past, present, and potential future. All relationships have a destiny. Each is a sacred teacher and a valuable lesson to share. Even if it appears that the two of you are dancing in different directions, all steps are perfect, even when you may seem to be stumbling. The spiritual dancer is a reminder that destiny's true path is seldom straight, but leads you to the same destination. So um, it's just saying that if, you know, you guys, everyone has their own path of healing, their own journey that they have to walk. So even if you're walking them in separation, the end result is still the same and you'll both still come to the same um, destination. So allow the angels to lead you, to guide you, to bring you faith. And if by magic, they will help you heal. So that is awesome, Scorpios. All right. That is all I have for you guys. Um, I invite you on November 11th, I'm going to be doing a live meditation um, feed to help bring twin flames and soulmates back into union and reunion. It'll be amazing. The energy of everybody um, live will help bring that energy in very close. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, and be able to help each other come together. So I invite you to that. That'll be November 11th at 11-11. Um, also, I just want to thank each and every one of you for joining me on my channel and for your continued support. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate and love each and every one of you. God bless.